Hi, I'm Lou, and today we're going to leak test a steel chainsaw. The heart of this chainsaw is this little two-stroke engine. Unlike a four-cycle engine, crankcase pressure is very important on these two-cycle engines. As your saw ages, these crankcase seals here and here can start to leak and eventually burn up your engine. You'll know this is happening when your saw doesn't idle right, but does better on one side or the other. If your saw stops working but still has good spark, it's either the carb or a leak. You need to diagnose the problem before you throw new parts at it, or you could blow it again as quickly as 10 minutes after your repair, like I did. We'll need a leak tester, gasket material, and a spark plug adapter. I'll put a link to this in the description and show you how I made this. I removed all the porcelain, cut off the ground, and JB welded in this barbed hose fitting. There it is welded in, and then I removed this metal washer and replaced it with a rubber seal made out of this gasket material. You can also buy these with the link in the video description. We'll start by taking the cover off, 5 16 nuts, filter, pop off a few linkages and hoses, and then the carburetor comes out. Next, I trace that gasket onto this material and cut out this piece with no hole in the middle. Our newly made gasket seals the cylinder from the intake side and we replace the carburetor and the air filter. <coughs> same thing on the exhaust side. <coughs> Cut your new gasket the same size as that one. Put it all the way in against the motor then put in this heat shield and you don't need that. Muffler. <coughs> now we take the plug out and goes the adapter and our leak tester goes right on here. First a pressure test to about 7 psi. And right there you can see we have a leak because it's going down. Now we have to figure out where the leak's coming from. We'll start by exposing this area here under here. Take the side cover off. Pop this clip with a screwdriver, washer, clutch bell. Put rope in your spark plug hole to block the piston and then loosen this. It takes a lot of force and it's on backwards. If you don't want to use ropes, there are piston stops for your specific model saw. And there's the crank seal on this side. So we'll spray soapy water on the seal. Pump it up. I'm not seeing any leaks on this side. So we'll head to the other side. These are all T27 torques. Again with the rope and loosen the flywheel. These flywheels can be tricky to get off. I put a slight amount of pressure with a pry bar and bungee cord. And then bang on the center of the bolt with a punch. Spray, pump. Definitely have leaks, we're forming bubbles. So we found our leak during pressure testing and we can stop here, but I just wanted to show you that you slide it like this and now you have a vacuum tester. So at this point, we either have a leaky motor that we need to reseal or a blown motor that we need to replace. Either way, that's gotta come out. You have to take off these four plugs first. Now some more torque screws. <laughs> handle this rubber mount is a pain but you have to actually push it through push this rubber boot through the orange shell but be very careful because it's easy to rip a few more wires and hoses and this comes right off grounding lug unscrew the old motor from underneath out comes the old motor at this point you're either resealing your old motor or installing a new one seals on these replacement parts are rarely any good so it's best to redo them use fuel resistant moto seal or something similar and this is why we're here. A piston should look like that, but when it overheats due to an air leak, it starts to melt like that, and it eventually ends up like this. Clean off the old sealer with a fingernail or dowel rod. A brass or plastic Dremel brush can help you get the last of it. Here it is all cleaned up, and we'll use some brake clean to get off any oily residue. On goes our sealer. We've got sealant on both sides and then a thin coat down in here where the crank seals go. In goes the piston, cover. You want this part of your intake flange to be as smooth as possible. If you've got any high spots like this, cut them off with a knife or a file. Clean this thoroughly and coat with moto seal before you pop on your boot. A little moto seal under your impulse line won't hurt anything. Or this tiny hose clamp. Put your heat shield on now because it's much harder later. Slide in your motor, bolt it in quick before the sealant dries. And we let that cure for 24 hours. And reinstall the handle, carb, and muffler. Let's see how we did with another pressure test. And now we're holding a steady 7 PSI. Flip over to vacuum mode. And it's holding 7 PSI vacuum also, so we have no more leaks. I'm going to quickly run through reassembly, but I have a more detailed video link in the description. And here we go.
If you need more help, there's a lot of great people in the Chainsaw Repair Group on Facebook. Thanks for watching.